Question six. So what are we told? We're told vector AB is minus 3i minus 4j minus 5k. Oh, let's just find it easier if I write them on there. BC, so B to C, is i plus j plus 4k. So first question is what's vector AC? Well, that's just these two added together, isn't it? So if I add those two together, then that's going to give me minus 2 i minus 3j and then minus k All right so just add those together right okay part b well let's just have the confidence here to kind of think well how would you work out we're thinking about an angle a b so we're talking about this angle here right so we would probably use if we knew these lengths here we would use cosine rule so if i call that angle b and that length b Right, just like you would do using cosine rule, okay? So just angle A, length A. Right, remember this one over here is minus 2i minus 3j minus k. Okay, I just want to work out the lengths of those lines. Well, if I look at this one here first of all, if I want to work out the length there, um, it's just going to be 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared and root that, okay? So that's just going to be root 18. This one, in the same way, 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared, so that gives you root 50, and then this one over here will give you root 14. Okay? And there we go. Right, now let's just plug that into cosine rule, okay? So if we're talking about cos b. So what would we have? We'd have cos using that one just there. So that would be so b squared equals c squared plus a squared minus 2ca. I don't know why I wrote it as c and a that way around. It doesn't really matter. And then cos b. Fill in all the stuff that we know. So this one here, this is the important one because this one here is is root 14. Wait a minute, root 14 squared. Well, that's handy, isn't it? There we go. So that's 14. And then c squared. So we're talking about this one. So that's 50. And then plus 18. Take away 2 multiplied by root 50, root 18, and then cos of b. Just tidy the thing up a little bit. So what have we got? 14 equals... So we've got 68. This bit, just there, um, you, could, you can if you want to, you can just pop that into your calculator. And that will give you 60, that's equal to 60. Cos B, just a little bit of rearranging. Take away 68 from both sides, that gives me minus 54 equals minus 60. Cos B, so this Cos B, remember, Looking at our diagram is ABC, which is which is what we're actually after. Um, divide by minus 60. So minus 60 is equals cos B. Remember that is really cos A B C. Right, just literally label it. Minus 54 over minus 60 is actually 9 over 10. Double negative. There we go. That's where we wanted to get to. Alright.